ready, teacher? Good evening. Good evening. Now I can see you and I can hear you very well. So it seems there was a problem with the Zoom configuration, but the good thing is that now you are here. So let's wait for the rest. Oh, I can. Okay. Thank you, teacher. I I my work right now. Uh, oh, okay. I uh, voy a apagar la cámara. Disculpe. Ah, okay, no problem. Gracias. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? Fine, fine. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? Nice to see you again. Um, hi. Nice teacher. Nice teacher, teacher. Yeah, really good. I really like that one. It's from my... I don't know if you can see it anyway. <laughs> hi, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Welcome, everybody. So the, it, seems, it seems. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Okay. It seems there was a problem with the configuration soon, and that's why uh, you were not able to log in. So, but now it seems that it's fixed, and now you will be able to log in with no problem. Okay. So. Let's see what happens for the for the rest of the classes. But anyways, uh, I'm happy that we are back here in business. I don't know if we have other people here. Let's see, I don't think so. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to check is uh, to see about the the attendance. Okay. Okay, Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. I'm here. Good. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Present. Good. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Here, teacher. Good. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. Present. Good. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present, teacher. Present. Good. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Good evening, I'm here. Good evening. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Present, teacher. Good. Mónica Wendy Ávalos Girón. Present. Good. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Present. Good. Oscar René Molina Calidoni. Present, teacher. Good. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present, teacher. Good. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present teacher. Okay. Hay alguien que no mencioné, just in case. Okay. Let me check in the group to see if anybody. Okay. Yeah, it seems that everything is fine. 
Very well. Okay, I was checking here the, the attendance list, and it seems that we don't have anybody new, right, for the class. It seems that we are the same people that we had previous class. Sometimes in the first week, sometimes uh, we get some other students, but if that is the case, we are going to have a chance for us to uh, to introduce ourselves to that person. But anyways, by now, it seems that it's going to be kind of the same people. Um, I know here that there are a few people that are still not able to join. I hope they can join in the future. So welcome to the intermediate number four. Nice, very good. Let's check about the presentation, okay? That's the other thing that we're going to do tonight. Let me just share the screen. Okay. So this is intermediate number four. And uh, well, let me introduce myself, just in case you don't remember. My name is Eric Asensio, and it's a pleasure to see you again. I know that you are a very good group, very good students, that you are very hungry to learn. As you remember, I, I like to listen to music, watch movies, uh, to analyze about life. I like to teach English, and it's a real pleasure to be here with you once again. Uh, you know all these things, but anyways, uh, we need to check into that one. So we need to have your whole name, okay, in the platform when you connect. We don't have any listeners, so not a problem in that one. The camera has to be on in all the class. So remember that this is something that we need to do. Minimize the, I mean, that is to placing mute the the uh, Zoom, uh, so we're going to participate, then we're going to deactivate that one. And the active participation that you know already. And uh, remember that we need to have 100% of attendance to the class. Uh, the attendance uh, is checked not only uh, to be, or to say present, but uh, to be in the whole class. Uh, we check, here it says three times, but we don't check the attendance three times, only two times, at the beginning of the class and at the end of the class. And uh, of course, when I say your name, you have to tell me present or something like that. Uh, we are going to have one once at the end of the class. We don't have permissions. That is very important. Sometimes I know that some students, they ask me, hey, teacher, I have a problem. So I say yes, because I understand you, but instead of for does not provide any Okay, so we need to finish 80% of the homeworks and evaluation so you can complete the course. The homeworks, as you know, are in the platform and we need to do the homeworks every time after the class. Um, so everything is going to be covered and we have the midterm test is going to be done by the Monday, November the 10th. That will be it. And uh, uh, we are going to finish classes uh, on Monday, 27th, November. It's going to be Monday because remember that uh, on November the 2nd, we probably were not going to have classes. So it's a holiday. So that's why we're going to move one class. And you can download the manual from the platform. I hope you have done that already. We don't use any third party uh, material. As we were discussing, we need to uh, use the mute button uh, when you uh, are just listening and have to have the camera on. The chat is activated so you can chat and ask questions. Sometimes, as you may remember, we use the breakout rooms and we have the ask for help button so you can raise your hand and uh, tell about anything that you may want to say, okay? Uh, do you have any questions about this? For me, it's clear, teacher. Clear as horchata, very good. Okay, so the first question is, do you have access to the platform already? Todos tenemos acceso ya a la plataforma, ya pudieron probar? Not yet, teacher, but... 
Uh, yes. Right now. Okay. Yeah, if you haven't tried, please try right now. Si no han tratado, por favor, traten, porque si no, a veces hay problemas y yo les puedo reportar uh, en este mismo momento. Entonces, ¿hay alguien que todavía no haya accedido a la plataforma o que no tenga acceso, que tuvo problemas para acceder? Ok, that is good. Ok, so this is the platform. Uh, as you know, you have the experience here. We have four sections, right? So you go to the first section. And then on the first section, you are going to find the first class. It's this one, the one that we are checking here. And we have the, the first homework, right? Uh, this is the first homework. So you just need to come and select an option and then send. And it's going to be this way for all the first units. Remember that when we finish the first unit, we're gonna go to the second unit. And also remember that for the second unit is different because the second unit is for two weeks. So we're going to have two classes and a homework. Two classes and a homework. So no homework every day. Also remember that when we finish the homework, the last homework of the unit, there we're going to find the midterm test. So four uh, or five questions in each section because it has four sections. And then uh, we are going to be halfway there. And as I was telling you, this is four units, right? So that is going to be like that. And you can download the manual here. You go here and you click here, you will be able to download the manual. So uh, do you have any question about the platform? No teacher, but in, in my case, already I could enter in this platform. Ah, very well. So you don't have any problem. Thank you, teacher. Very good. What about the rest? Huh? We tried the under the platform. It's very good. Very good. Perfect. Nice. Nice. I'm happy that you are able to. Uh, if by any chance you have any problem to log in, just let me know. And of course, I'm going to check it now. Okay. Good. All right. So let me just check. Nice, so I have a question for you. What are you going to do when you finish your English classes? Aha, uh -huh. I wanna know. What are you going to do when you finish this course? Everything, the advance, and you finish the TOEIC. No, it's not the TOEIC, it's the TOEFL that way you're gonna do. So what are you going to do when you finish everything? In my case, teacher, uh, maybe I'm going to apply to the minute because I don't have any, uh, how do you say, accreditation? Accreditation. Okay, uh, any accreditation for working in that place? Uh, so, okay, is my expectation about the future. Very good, very good. Actually, when we finish the course, the last module is the preparation for the TOEFL. So the TOEFL is a global certification. Uh, it's a test that uh, is for two hours. So we are going to have a listening part, a grammar part, a writing part, and uh, some other questions about that one. It's not difficult, but it's long. Um, so you need to be ready for that one. That is the last module. And of course, you are going to be certified in English. Nice. Anybody else wants to share? Yeah. <laughs> Anybody else wants to share what you are going to do for when you finish your English classes? Teacher, teacher, in my case, when I finish uh, the, the English English class, um, I, I talk, I will talk with different person in different country, learn the different cultures. This, this situation is in my personal, personal life, in my work, 
um, I will talk with different stakeholders and sponsors in different countries for my work. Very good. That sounds like a very nice plan. Yeah, I remember that English, since this is about communication, to meet other people, other cultures is always fascinating, right? Uh, I mean, you can start by watching videos or well, checking other things, but if you can speak with other people, of course, that is much, much better, right? So let's see what happens. Anybody else wants to share? Sorry, good evening for all, but I don't know what to do. And I come in silent, silent reason now. But only I want to say you that it is for me a pleasure to see you again. And it is an excellent experience that is continued. Yeah, very good, right? That we are here back again in business. So uh, I know that we are going to practice many things and uh, uh, Yes, I mean, uh, this is a journey that we are going to continue. Uh, the good thing is that we're going to have five more weeks of learning English and practicing. Remember that if you have any questions, you can ask me here in the class, chat in the group, or chat uh, individually. So it's going to be very good. Perfect. Anybody else wants to share? What are you going to do when you finish the English classes? Next year, then March or May, so possible. Uh huh. What are you going to do then? More than 18 meses when we complete. Mm, that is a very good question. So, okay, uh, we have intermediate levels are six. So we are right now in the in the fourth level of the intermediate. So there is intermediate five, intermediate six, and then you go to advanced. And in advance, we have six levels. So it's going to be other six levels in advance. And then after the advance, you are going to do the, the course for the preparation for the TOEFL. That is the last one. When you finish that one, you are going to go and take the test and that's it, you finish the class. So sometimes the problem is that, yes, there are 18 modules, but not 18 months. Remember that sometimes when we finish the classes, because since a four has to do some paperwork, sometimes we have to wait two weeks, three weeks. So uh, it's going to be a little bit more, right? But you are missing two intermediates and six advanced levels. Aida, go ahead. Hi, Aida. Hello, hello. Did hello. you listen to me? Yes. Okay, I have a question. Uh, when we are going to finish uh, the intermediate level? Well, that is a very good question. I don't know exactly when you are going to finish because uh, of what I was explaining. So for example, we're going to finish the intermediate four, right, in November 27th. Then you are going to start the intermediate five. The problem is that we don't know when you are going to start intermediate because when we finish, when we finish the uh, the modules, there are always one or two weeks that we don't have classes. That means that you have to start in the middle of December. But the problem is that in Safor, they don't work the last two weeks of December. So I am not sure, I don't know, if you are going to start in December or in January. So it's going to be, let's say that is in January, it's going to be maybe the 15th of January. So you will finish around the end of February and you are going to start the other model maybe in the middle of March. So you are going to finish the intermediate 
maybe at the end of April. That is going to be an estimated time. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, thank you, teacher. Very good. Yeah, it's because of that, because of vacations and because of those uh, two weeks that are almost always we have free, uh, that is going to take a little bit more time. So, but those are good uh, days for you to practice as well. So you can practice, you can do many other things, right? Good. Do you have any other questions? If you have questions, you can ask. No, not for me, teacher, but when I finish the advanced level uh, in English classes, I will try to sing the English, the English song. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Very good. That's nice. <laughs> no, but this activity we can do, teacher. Of in course. The, in the class, for example. <laughs> ah, yeah, good definitely. idea. Good idea, Aida. <laughs> yes, because the practice is listening. <laughs> very good, very good. Definitely, definitely. Okay, so uh, I'm going to show you the book, but we're going to we're not going to start with the book yet. So this is the book, and uh, well, the book or the whole thing that we're going to check in this unit is very interesting. It's about logistics. So logistics is amazing. It's very good. I really like logistics. It's very hard sometimes because it's not, I mean, some people, they don't understand very well what is logistics. But when you get to know what is logistics, I mean, you get to know that it's one of the most important parts in the business, okay? So we're going to start with the presentation. And the first question is, uh, what do you remember about distribution channels? What are distribution channels? Do you remember anything about that? Okay, not a problem because that's why we are here, right? So. Let's ask you a question. What kind of company do you work for? Anybody wants to share? What kind of company do you work for? Um, according to the question, I understand. Uh, for example, if the company is is like a heavy or something like that. I mean, uh, what do you do in the company? It means that uh, do you work for a factory? Do you work for a company that sells products or something? Anything that, that you can tell me about your company. Oh. Okay, so I'm I'm not ready yet. <laughs> okay, no worries. So uh, this question is because all the companies they need a distribution channel. It doesn't matter what kind of company you work for. Everybody needs distribution channel. Sometimes it's more complex. Sometimes it's easier. But everybody, every single person needs distribution channel. So this is what we're going to learn today. Why do we need distribution channel for a company? What is that? How can we understand better logistics and third-party logistics and many other things? And uh, how this is so important for the company, okay? And uh, we have here the most, the seven most popular types of businesses in general. Okay, so the first one, uh, let's see, Ernesto, could you please help me reading the first one? Yes, teacher. Um, the, the seven most popular types of, of businesses, a uh, sole proper, proper tour ships, okay. uh, owned by one person, no legal or financial distinction between 
business and business owner. Very good. So that is the first one, sole proprietorship. So that is very common here in El Salvador, right? Uh, when people say, I'm going to, I'm going to run a business, I'm going to open a business. Um, in the most of the cases in El Salvador is a sole proprietorship. Do you know what is sole? Okay, so is alone, only one person. Unique. 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 Very good. So it means that the owner of the company is only one person. Okay. And actually that is uh, own. Okay. Is the owner uh, by one person. No legal or financial distinction between business and business owner. So everything is one person. One person decides. So that is one of the first categories of types of businesses. Um, Rene, could you please help me reading the second? Okay. Partnership. Business financial or legal responsibilities equality divided. Divided. divided most uh, registered for ERS purpose. Okay, so that is a partnership. Do you know what is the meaning of partnership? What is partnership? Eh, compañero de viaje, quizás en barco o algo así. Mm, actually, partnership is sociedad. Soci okay. That is it. So, speaking about business, partnership is sociedad. Speaking about life, Society is sociedad, but society in general, right? But uh, for business, the name of that is partnership. And look shipping. what it says. Uh -huh. I confuse it that the shipping is the boat in the sea. <laughs> yeah. yeah, actually that is true. Uh, it's very interesting. Shipping. Mediterranean yes. shipping company is a only company, one company or the logistics. That is true. That is true. So, uh, but in this case, it's about business in general. So, partnership is going to be associated. So, it says business, financial, and legal responsibilities equally divided. So, in a partnership, in a company that is a partnership, everybody is responsible. Everybody no, has. I'm sorry? Now, for our Ah, okay. Uh, that is castaway. Castaway okay. is now. <laughs> All right. So, so partnership. Uh, here, everybody has the same responsibility, and everybody is uh, has the same uh, benefits. Okay. So that it's is fifteen. Yeah, it's it. It can be two people, three people, nine people, seven hundred people. Uh, it doesn't matter, right? but everybody is kind of the same, right? Okay, um, Aida, could you please help me reading uh, limited partnership? Okay, teacher. Um, but I can see so well, <laughs> but I try. Oh okay. 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 Um. Ideal for those interested in raising capital from inversions who aren't active in day-to-day -day, uh, duties. Duties. Okay, duties. Very good. So this is a partnership, but it says limited partnership. So it says ideal for those interested in raising capital from investors who aren't active in day-to-day duties. -day so in this kind of partnership, we have two kinds of people. One is like the one who takes responsibility, the one who takes like, makes the decisions. And the other people are the ones who put the money into that. It's limited, and this is very interesting, because you are not responsible beyond the money or the responsibilities of the company. That is very important. If you have 
a company that is limited partnership. That means that, for example, imagine that you have your business and then something bad happened and then uh, you don't have money to pay to, to everybody. Okay? So in the limited partnership, if the bank, for example, comes and takes the money or anything that you own, they won't be able to take your personal things only from the company. Okay? In a regular partnership, yes. If the bank wants their money back, they can take your house, your car, everything. But in the limited partnership, the bank can only have the company's assets, only the companies, the things that are under the name of the company. But they don't, they cannot take uh, your car or your house or your, I don't know, the things that you have inside your house. So I, I don't know if you get the difference uh, in between partnership and limited partnership. Is that kind of clear? Yes, teacher. Very good. Perfect. The other one is a corporation. So let's see. Um, Blanca, could you please help me reading corporation? Okay. Corporation. Independent multiply share holders. Appropriate for established business with employees. Very good. So that will be corporation. So a corporation, it says, is independent multiple shareholders. Do you know what is shareholders? No. Okay. Shareholders are um, accionistas. So in this one, we have people that pay for the actions and they are owner of the companies. So that will be, it. and you can have a lot of stakeholders or shareholders. So. Okay, the next one is going to be for OSEAS. Can you please have me reading LLC? LLC. Yes, please. Okay. Blend of partnership and corporation. No personal property at risk. Less regulation. Very good. So in this one, uh, it can be a blend of partnership and corporation. So it's both at the same time. No personal property at risk. As I was telling you, the bank only can take your... Um, uh, the assets of the company, and less regulation. So sometimes you are free to do many things. The other one is a very interesting one. So a uh, non-profit. Maria Julia, could you please help me reading the non-profit one? Okay. Non-profit. Earning pays ex expense of company can Apply for apply. for apply for for tax ex exempt status. Very good, perfect. So, what is non profit, my friends? No profit. Uh, no ganancias. Very good. That is it. So, this company are what we call in Spanish ONGs. Yeah. So these are the the non profit companies. So. Earnings pay expenses of the company and can apply for tax exempt status. So the most of the time, these companies, uh, what they do is they help other people. They help a uh, part of the society that they don't have the resources. Okay. And the last one it says co op earnings divided among members, no external stakeholders. So what is co op? Do you know? Como cooperativa, ¿cero? Exacto. That is cooperativa. So, co-op in English. Okay. Very good. 
Any questions here before we move on? Yes, teacher. I couldn't write the LLC means. Ah, very good. The what meaning of that one, mean? yes, is limited yes. liability company. I'm going to chat it here. Uh, here in the chat, I'm going to write it. So, the check. Okay, limited liability company. That is the, the meaning of that, one, okay? Very good. Any other question? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, so now we're going to enter into into what we are going to study these uh, five weeks. So it says, what is distribution? Ah, that is a very good question. Let's see who is going to Ana Hernandez, could you please help us reading what is distribution? Good evening. What Good is evening. distribution? Distribution is the activity of both selling and delivering products and service from manufacturer to customer. What is a distribution channel? The distribution channel is the path uh, that a product or service takes in order to be sent from the manufacturer to the customer. Perfect, very good. So we have two definitions. Distribution. In general, what is distribution? So is an activity. Is the activity of selling a product and delivering the products and services from the manufacturer to the customer. So that is distribution. So in my, for example, a TV, right? So you don't go to the factory, you don't go to Samsung or LG factory to buy the TV, right? They produce the TV there, but I mean, you go to La Corazao, for example, or Simán, to buy the TV. So all the steps uh, or, or the, uh, the art, the activity of putting the TV there for you in La Corazao, that is distribution. Everything that you do so you can do that. And on the other hand, what is distribution channel? It says the distribution channel is the path that a product or service takes in order to be sent from the manufacturer to the customer. So distribution is the activity, is the name of the activity. The distribution channel is like the list of steps that you do. So you put the TV there in La Corazao. I mean, there are many things. You put that in a truck, the truck goes from, in my, my Samsung, the factory of Samsung is in Korea, right? So they put the TV in a, in a truck. They send the truck to a, an airplane or a, a ship, a boat. Then the boat comes to, to America, maybe to Mexico, let's say. And from Mexico, they put the TV in another truck. They put that in a train. The train comes to El Salvador. In El Salvador, they get the truck, I mean, get the TV from that one I put in another truck, all the steps. So the logistics is very big. But sometimes we don't know. We don't know what has happened. So that is distribution and that is distribution channel. Do you have any question about any of this? Clear teacher. Good. Let's check some words. What is uh, see path? What is path? Path, like a road. Like a road. Very good. That would be it. And that is it. I don't see any other word that might be interesting. Okay. Distribution channels in a nutshell. Do you know what is in a nutshell?
Okay, when we mention that expression in a nutshell, what we are doing or what we are trying to express is that this is like the basic, the core of what we are expressing. In this case, this is the distribution channel, like the most basic, okay? okay. And it says, uh, let me pull this. A distribution channel is the set, uh, well, anybody's gonna read. Roberto Carlos, do you please help me reading this? Uh, not possible. Monica Avalos, possible for you? Yes. Distribution uh, distribution channel in a no nutshell. Uh distribution channel is the set of steps in it takes for a product to get in the hand of the key con customer or consumer. Distribution channel can be direct or indirect. Distribution can also be physical or digital, depending on the kind of business and industry. Very good, perfect. So a distribution channel in a nutshell. So meaning that something very basic, something very, like the most important part. And uh, it says um, a distribution channel is the set of steps, all the steps that takes for a product to get in the hands of the key cons customer consumer can be direct or indirect. Ah, what is that? We are going to check that, okay? Distribution can also be physical or digital. Nowadays, I mean, there are many products or services that are um, digital, for example, in mind that you are going to go to a concert. So in the past, you have to go to the store, you have to stay in line, right? Wait maybe two hours or three hours, pay for the ticket and they give you the ticket. That is a physical distribution. Now it's easier, right? Because if you want to buy a ticket for a concert, the only thing that you need to do is to go to your cell phone, look for a, a website, enter your information, and then they send you a, a Q code. Wow. So you can have that one. And that's it. You don't have to go to any other place. But that is also distribution, a distribution channel. The fact that you go to a website or an application, uh, look for the information, uh, click on the one that you want, and then pay for that one. So it's possible to have distribution channel because for example, in that case, what they do is that they have, they produce the codes, right? And there are limited amount of codes and they assign the person a code and in the website, they have to build all the steps internally, right? So everybody is able to, to get the access to this. Okay. In the chart below, you can see that this is like a distribution chart. We have the company, okay, that can be like an ecosystem. That company is going to produce a, a product or service. Then we have the distribution pipeline, and then we have the key customer. So, and we have like for the digital distribution, we have the company, algorithms, that is the mathematics for day two. When you click on that one, you know that in uh, the computers, they uh, like the stimulation, the information they sent uh, in codes of zeros and ones, and that transform into information. Then we have the data, we have the software, we have the hardware that is the cell phone, and then the cost. So everything is there interact that is part of the distribution chart okay and in the chart here below it says digital this marketing channel in mind all this that we have here for example pay we have being ads do you know what is being ads anybody knows what is being ads
the advertising that we see in, in the search? That is it, advertisement that you see. In this case, we have been in Google, but there are many other browsers. That we so when you open a website, you see there uh, the advertisement, right? Come to Walmart, I don't know, anything like that. So the name of that digital marketing channel is SEM. Then we have the direct that can be with website, push notifications, email, or customer base, right? So all those are direct because the company, they create a website, they create an email and send you via email the, the pricing or the newest products. Or the other channel is referral. With the referral, uh, this is very common for the pyramids, right? Affiliates or PR. So the affiliates is like, uh, you are going to be part of the business, but you need to sell the product. So that was very common, uh, the last decade. The other one says organic, SMO, like Facebook ads or Pinterest ads. So advertising in social media, exactly that one. Then we have a Facebook, Instagram, or Pinterest. I mean, you can pay for the ads or you just see what's going on there. And all the organic are like Google, Bing, Yahoo, DDG, or Jandex that are, uh, you just go and look for the product or service and you will find different pricing, different sizes, everything that is related with the product. So this is like the distribution channel in a nutshell. Uh, do you have any questions? Good. So, importance of the distribution channel. Let's see. Sylvia, could you please help me reading this? Okay, importance of distribution channels. Number one, reduction of distribution costs. Number two, increase the efficiency of distribution. Number three, increase the customer satisfaction. Number four, reduction of time consumed in handling the, the goods. And number five, reduce the risk of damage and risk of delay. Okay, so these are like five reasons why distribution channels are very important. And we are going to go more in deep in another class, but we are going to only uh, a little speak about that one. So, reduction of distribution cost death. It's very expensive to bring TVs from the Samsung factory in Korea to El Salvador. It's very expensive. So, we need, we need to reduce some costs. The other one says increase the efficiency of distribution. Definitely, you have a very good distribution channel, you are going to be very efficient on distributing those goods. Increase the customer satisfaction, definitely. Remember when you buy something online and if you are able to see there, for example, where exactly is the package or uh, things like that one, you will be able to to be in a better situation, right? To, uh, the customer is always happy when they are seeing what's going on with the package or when they receive very quickly their package. So definitely it's uh, Yeah, definitely that is part of efficiency, the reducing of time or consume in handling the goods and the reduce uh, the risk of damage and risk of delay. What is delay, anybody? Retardo. Very good. And damage? Damage. Daño. Very good. So we're going to reduce the risk of damage and risk of delay. Very good. Let me see if there's any other word. Let me see. Do you have any questions here? Teacher, I don't I don't understand the number four. Reduction of of time consumed in handling the good. 
I I don't I don't understand. Uh yes, that means that uh if you have a very good distribution channel, uh, sometimes you don't have to. I mean, you need to handle the goods, meaning that you need to put, for example, the imagine a, a a shirt in a bag with the stickers, and then in a box, and then in the warehouse, and then uh, distribute everything in the warehouse in a way that you understand that they are separated of colors, of, of sizes, and things like that one. So all those things, if you have a very good distribution channel, it's going to be easier. It's going to be uh, not that, you're not going to spend a lot of time on handling on putting all these things in the bag, in the box, in a place. So uh, if you do have a very good distribution channel, it's going to be very efficient. Okay, teacher. Okay, okay. Thank you. Good, perfect. Uh, well, that is a very good question, actually. What is handling? Anybody knows handling? Como manejar. Very good. That is it, handling, like manage and. Good, let's go to the next one. And this is uh, this is very good because here you understand what you need. So we have uh, we have different like different strategies of distribution. The one that is on the top is a direct sale. So we have the producer and then you go directly to the consumer. So that is a direct sale. The other ones, some uh, short distribution channels. For example, you can have a, an agent, a wholesaler, we're going to check what is a wholesaler, a retailer, so you can reach the consumer. So that is the difference. Sometimes we need to do it ourselves or we want to do it ourselves. And sometimes it's not possible, sometimes you, you have to work with other companies that they distribute goods on this. Do you have any questions here in this one? In, interesting teacher, because the direct sale uh, always is a, a producer, a produce. So yes, when uh, it's a direct sale, sometimes it's possible to have a direct sale from distributors or tailors to the consumer, but uh, in the most of the cases, it's either a direct sale or you have a wholesaler, retailer, agent, cons uh, to put the product on the hands of the consumer. So it's very interesting how we can, and we're going to check very in deep into that one. You will see. Okay, thank you, teacher. Oh, we're not gonna do that, but we're going to go to the book. Let me just check here. Okay, now we're going to go to the book. So, the distribution channel. And it says, I will be able to express advantages and disadvantages of direct and indirect distribution channel. What is disadvantage? Desventajas. Very good. That is it. And in the number one, it says, does your company sell products and services directly to the consumers? Aha, uh -huh, I want to listen to you. So what kind of product or, uh, I mean, the question is, if your company, the, the place where you work, if they do it directly or not to the consumer? Okay, maybe you don't know when that is valid. No problem. Uh, let's go to the conversation then. It says Ellie and Joel are talking about options to distribute their products. Take turns practicing the conversation with the partner. Okay, as usual, I am going to say the pronunciation. You are going to check. 
then you are going to practice and we're going to check then the vocabulary, okay? So, I'm thinking about selling physical copies of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. Really? Well, we will need to check with a consultant. I don't have any experience with distribution options. We sell everything directly to the consumer through our online store. Me neither. Maybe we could ask around and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with our retailer store. Let's give it a try. And if it is a success, we can sell more from our catalog at stores. Okay, now do you have any pronunciation question? Yes, teacher. Please repeat uh, one more time. Uh, entrepreneur. 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 Okay. Entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Okay. Good. Any other question? On pronunciation. Okay, now uh, we are going to practice. So let's see, Ernesto and Maria Julia. Sí. Okay, Maria Julia, I am Joel. Uh, I am Ellie. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about selling critical copies of our, uh, our area. Train, training program for entrepreneurs. Really? Well, we will need to check with a consultant. I don't have any experience with distribution options. We sell everything directly to the consumer through our online store. Me, me neither. Maybe we, we could ask around and seeing how much profit we could get from a, a partnership with a retailer store. Let's give a try. And if it is a success, we can sell more from our catalog at stores. Very good, perfect, nice. Now, Silvia, Patricia, and... Roberto Carlos. Okay, I am thinking about selling physical copies of our audio training program for ent entrepreneurs. Oh, we will need to check with the call center. I don't have any experience with distribution option. We sell everything directly to the customer through or online store. Me neither. Maybe we could ask around and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with a retailer store. Let's give a try. And if it is a success, we can we can sell more from our catalog at the stores. Very good, very nice. Now we're going to listen to Blanca, Tunaka, and Oseas. Sorry, teacher. I am Ellie. Okay. Ellie and... I am thinking about selling physical copies of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. Really? Well, we need to check with a cons consultant. 
I don't have any experience with these distribution options. We sell everything directly to the consumer through our our line store. May, may neither. Maybe we could ask our and and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with a retired store. Uh, let's give a try, and if it is is a success, we can sell more from our catalog at its at the stores. Very good, perfect. Thank you. Now we're going to listen to Rene, Oscar Rene, and Monica. Is it possible for you, Monica? Yes. Very good. Um, I am thinking about selling physical copies of our audio, audio training program for entrepreneurs. Really well. We we will need with the consultant. I don't have any experience with the distribution of options. We sell everything directly to the customer. So so our online store. Me neither. Maybe we could ask around to see how much profit we could get from a partnership with a re retailer store. Let's give a try. And and if it is a success, we can sell more from our catalog of stores. Very good. Nice. Now let's see. Juan Roberto, is it possible for you, Juan? Yes, teacher. Okay, and Ana Hernandez. Is it possible for you, Ana? Not possible. Aida, please help Juan Roberto. Okay, teacher. I'm thinking about selling physical copies and our audio trying program for entrepreneurs. Really? Well, we need we will need to check with a consultant. I don't have any experience with distribution options. We sell everything directly to the consumer through our online store. Me neither. Maybe we could ask around and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with a re retail store. Let's give it a try. And if, and if it is a success, we can sell more from our catalog at the stores. Very good. Perfect. Jonathan, Ariel, is it possible for you? Not possible. What about you? Yes, ah, yes. Very good. Okay, Silvia, Patricia, and Jonathan Ariel. Okay, I am thinking about selling physical copies of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. Really? Well, we will need to check with a consultant. I don't have any experience with distribution options. We sell everything directly to the customer through our online store. Me neither. Maybe we could ask around and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with a retailer store. Let's give a try. And if it is a success, we can sell more from our catalog at stores. Very good, perfect. Uh, Mauricio Rivera, is it possible for you? I'm ready, teacher. Good, and Veronica Elizabeth Burgos, is it possible for you, Veronica? Hello? Mm, okay. Uh, we cannot listen to you, Veronica.
And I guess there are some problems in the audio. Okay, no problem. Uh, Maria Julia, help uh, Mauricio, please. Okay. I help you, El Mauricio. Okay. I am thinking about selling physical copies of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. Really? Well, we will need to, to check with a consultant. I don't have any experience with distribution option. We sell everything directly to the, to the consumer show or online store. Me neither. May, maybe we could ask around and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with our tailor store. Let's, let's give a try. And if this, it is a, su a success, we can sell more from our cat catalog store. Very, very good. Now, let's check some pronunciation, okay? okay. Physical, that is physical. physical. Entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs, okay? Entrepreneurs. Let's see. Through. Through. Partnership. 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 Okay, so what is physical copies? What is that, my friends? Copias físicas. Very good. That is it. And what is entrepreneurs? Emprendedor, empresario. Emprendedor. Very nice. What is consultant? Consultor. Very good. And let's see. Do you remember what is profit? Yes, Very good. What is success? Yo pasó when success. No, it's just éxito. Éxito. Estaba comparando porque justo estaba hace un rato llenando un formulario y me apareció ahí. Suces. Inmediatamente lo asimilé con sí, activado, y, pero sí, tiene razón, éxito. Very good, nice, nice. Okay, do you guys have any questions? Any other question on this? Okay, so now we're going to do the exercise three. According to the conversation, we are going to write the answers, okay? I'm going to give you a few minutes for you to finish that one, okay? Entrepreneur. Um. 
and Okay, so let's check the question number one. How does Ellie want to expand their business? Mm, what is the answer? Okay, number one is selling physical copies. That is it, selling of, of, uh -huh. of, of our, our audio training program for entrepreneur. That is it. So she's planning to sell physical copies of the audio training program for travelers. Number two, do Joel and Ellie have experience with indirect distribution channels? No, they don't no. have experience with indirect distribution channels. Perfect. That is the answer. No, they don't have any experience. Good. Number three says, what indirect uh, distribution channel are they considering? Let's a retail store. A retail store. Very good. A partnership with a retail store. Perfect. All right. Let's move on, my friends. We have now the exercise number four match the terms to the corresponding meaning. So I'm going to give you a few minutes for you to look in the dictionary. What is a retailer, consultant, distributor, wholesaler, a manufacturer's representative, and check what is the answer for that one, okay? So I will give you a few minutes for that.
No. Okay, so let's check. Um, the first one says an intermediary entity in the distribution channel that buys in bulk and sells to the seller. What might be that one? For me, teacher, manufacturer's representative. For me. Okay, uh, and the rest of the class? For me, it's a distributor. Distributor. Hmm. Oh, sorry, sorry, I, I, I confuse. Okay. Yeah, no, 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 it's that. <clears throat> okay, okay. So, an intermediary entity in the distribution channel that buys in bulk and sells to resellers. What do you think is this? One person says manufacturer's representative and that's it. Good Let's check seller. Wholesaler. Mm, okay, interesting. So number two, it says an agent who supplies goods to the stores and other businesses that sells to consumers. What do you think is that? For me, teacher, the, the second concept is a wholesaler. Wholesaler. Yeah, that is actually wholesale. Very good. That number two is wholesale. Number three, a person or business that sells goods to the public in small quantities for use. Retailer. Retailer. Okay. Retailer. Number four, a professional who provides expert advice in a particular area such as distribution logistics. Consultant. Consultant. Oh. Consultant, very good. Number five, an individual agency or company that sells manufacturer's products to wholesale and retail customers. Manufacturer representative. Mm -hmm. manufacturer. Or distribu distributor. Distributor, it could be a distributor. So yeah, the first one is manufacturer's representative. Very good. Uh, let's check some words. What is entity? Entidad. Perfect. What is bulk? A granel. Something like that. Very good. A lot, right? So a lot of products. Uh, what is reseller? Revender. Very good. What is supplied? Cemento. Suplemento, suplir, so, abastecer. Let's see. Teacher. Yeah. Supplies, good. Good is a mercancía. Something mm -hmm. like that. Good, como bienes. Bien, okay. Okay, what is advice? Un consejo. Consejo. Very good. Nice. And uh, that's it. Very good. Perfect. So now we know what is a retailer. I believe that very important is to know what is a retailer and a wholesaler. These two concepts are very important. Okay. And this is like a, a distribution channel example. Right? We have the direct channel that is the producer. Remember that the, the direct one the producer sells to the consumer. Then we have the retail channel that is like the producer goes to the retailer and then the retailer to the consumer. And the wholesale channel is the producer that goes to the wholesale or distributor and that goes to the retailer and that goes to the consumer, okay? Some people might think why some companies, they do all this thing. I mean, producer, wholesale, or distribution, retailer, and then consumer. It's easier to go from the producer to the consumer. So we are going to check in the other classes that is not that simple, right? It's sometimes it's kind of complex. 
Okay, so we check already that one and it says in the exercise six, categorize the examples according to the channels represented in the chart. Okay, so here we have examples of distribution. What you are going to do is to put here on the blank, if that one is a direct channel, if it's a retail channel, or if it's a wholesale channel. So I'm gonna give you a few minutes for you to check into that exercise, okay? Teacher, the the third the the three categories. One is direct channel, retail channel, and wholesale. Okay, thank you, teacher. Yeah, very good. perfect. I'm gonna give you then some minutes. Mm -hmm.
Okay, so let's check. The number one it says Amazon sells Kindles to its consumers or customers through its own platform. What is that? For me, it's retail channel. Uh, I'm sorry, did you say retail? Yeah, retail channel. Retail channel. So everybody agrees? For me, no, teacher. I disagree with my friend. Robert. Okay. Yes, and for for me is direct direct channel. Actually, is direct channel. Yes, okay. because it says Be it sells to its coming through its own. Because platform. the 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 Kindle is on on Amazon. Exactly. So they yeah. use their own distribution channel. So uh, excellent. That is direct. Very good. And uh, IKEA is number one. Yeah. Number two, it says. IKEA buys products from different manufacturers and sells them in their stores. What is that? Retail Sorry? channel. Retail channel. Okay, very good. That is nice. Number three, it says, Awesome Grocer supplies a line of independent grocery stores with food choices in bulk. What is that? It's a direct channel. Direct channel. Everybody agrees? I think that is wholesale channel. Very good. Actually, that is wholesale channel. Perfect. Number four says Dell Computer sells through its own online platform or call center. What is that? Direct channel, teacher. Direct channel, very good. And the number five, let me just move a little bit. It says, ah, there are six actually. The Gap buys clothes from other manufacturers to sell in their stores. It's a your customer. I'm sorry? It's wholesale channel. Wholesale channel, everybody agrees? No, yeah. direct channel. Direct channel, everybody agrees? Oh, we're more. <laughs> retail <laughs> channel. Yeah, yeah, that is the one. This one is retail. Retail, retail channel. Uh -huh. Yeah, because there are only two things, right? The retailer and the consumer, and they buy from them. So it's good. And the number six. Better grocery supplies a line of independent grocery stores with purchases in bulk. What will be that? Is the same situation than number three? Okay, so that we, one is going to be wholesale. Wholesale. Wholesale channel. Wholesale. Very good. Perfect. Very good. Uh, do you know what is the Kindle? Anybody? I have a Kindle teacher. Oh, those are very nice. Yeah, from Amazon, right? Very good experience. Yeah, it's a very, very nice good. tablet. For reading, those are amazing. Very good. Okay. Uh, you know what? IKEA is like a, a furniture store, right? And let's see. What is awesome? Do you remember what is awesome? Oh. Uh -huh. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, it's similar, uh, similar to amazing, right? It's amazing, okay. Maravillous, something like that. Uh, and what is a grocery store? Do you remember that? Tienda de dulces. A barrotería, let's say. Okay. What else? Let's see. It's grocery you can show Johnny Walker. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is true. You can buy Johnny Walker there. Johnny Walker again in the intermediate four. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. So it, Christmas is coming, so we need to we need uh, to do something. <laughs> nice. Okay, and we're not gonna do that one. Okay, very good, perfect. So 
And this is the first class, so it's very nice, right? Everything that we have learned already, imagine how many things wholesaler, distribution channel, is going to be a very interesting unit. So, and uh, remember that it's very important for you to check if you have access to the platform, okay? That is very, very important. So we can start tonight checking for the homework. So, and uh, let's do some practice. We have a few minutes. Let's see. Roberto Carlos. Hello. How are you? Fine. Very good. Very tired, but very happy to be here with you. So, so tired because all day is, a, is a stay in a meeting. Yeah. Uh, the capacitation. Oh, okay. And, uh, yeah. I hearing all day uh, uh, the many many expositions about uh, one platform in the uh, national trademark uh, about the trademark in El Salvador and another situation, but it's very tired, very uh, not. Not so much interesting. But sometimes that happens, yeah. I, I sometimes don't go to courses because I believe that it's kind of the same sometimes. I mean, when you have gone to a lot of courses sometimes, I mean, maybe you don't learn many things. Sometimes, yes, yeah, sometimes you learn one, two things that are interesting, and that is amazing. But uh, you finish the training. You are not going to go to the training tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I have another journey. In my all the week. Oh, hey. um, the eight o'clock from five uh, in the afternoon. Five in the afternoon hours. That is very it's boring, but it's, it's so so many uh, speak the people speak no nothing practice. Let's only speak about the, the, the items. Um, but this part of my work is part of my uh, knowledge. It's, I try to enjoy the space only. That is difficult. <laughs> when only you go hearing, when you stay hearing, hearing only, it's uh, tired. It's, it's true. It's true. It's not easy. It's not easy to present all the day, and it's not easy to listen all the day. So sometimes it's necessary to to break, right? To break the rules or to do some participations, uh, things like that. Because, I mean, other than that, sometimes I was reading, for example, that when you are in a training or you're speaking with somebody about a topic, uh, you get only around 40% of what the other people is saying. Even when you understand everything, the retention is, is different, right? It's totally different. So yeah, there are things that happen in that kind of situation. But the good thing is that we are here back in English, like so. <laughs> yeah, it's a good. Very good. Perfect, thank you, Roberto. Okay, my friends, so this was the very first class of this module. It's amazing to be here with you again. I hope the people that were not possible to join today, they join uh, tomorrow. And uh, we're going to check the attendance so we can go to uh, to to bed, uh, to rest a little bit. Remember that we have one-on-ones and today is going to be in order. So the first one that I say tonight is going to be the first four one-on-ones and so on. So uh, let's check the attendance then. Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. I'm here yet. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay. Ana Veronica Hernandez Rodriguez. Present. Good. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodriguez. Present. Good. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Here, teacher. Good. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. Present. Good. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present, teacher. Present. Good. 
Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. I'm here, teacher. Good. María Julia Ramos Olivar. I'm here, teacher. Good. Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Present. Good. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Present. Good. Oscar René Molina Calidoño. Present, teacher. Good. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present, teacher. Good. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. I am here. Good. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present teacher. Good. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Okay. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. I hope you have a very good night. Rest very well. See you tomorrow at Dream in English. It was a pleasure to teacher. Take yeah. care. Have a nice, nice night. Nice to be back. So do you. Good night. Good night. Take care. Yes. Yeah, so... See you again. Yeah, it's nice.